I'm going to wait until dot, dot, dot. In this particular instance, I'm going to wait until spring. You're going to wait until spring. I can certainly understand the logic in that, Matt. If you knew that by waiting until spring, you'd be leaving tens of thousands of dollars on the table, would you have to wait until spring or could you move up that timeline? Well, how am I going to leave tens of thousands of dollars? Spring is when the market picks up. I figure I'm going to make more money in the spring. There is a spring market, certainly, but here's what worries me a little bit about the spring market. So you've heard of the law of supply and demand, right? So if we have a ton of supply flooding the market with the same amount of buyers that are out there right now looking for homes, and maybe we bump up one or 2%, your house is going to be lost among all the many that are waiting until spring. So if we can get it on the market now, we're gonna run into more serious buyers who have less inventory to choose from, and that makes your home more desirable. So with less supply, still really high demand, that puts you in a great position to make more money, wouldn't you agree? Okay, that makes sense. If the numbers make sense, if it makes sense to you to list now, we'll get it on the market, ensure that you get top dollar for your property. If you still feel like you wanna wait until spring, let's talk about those options as well.